Welcome back. Not many outside the psychiatric field had heard of histrionic personality disorder before it was brought up by the defense team in Jerry Sandusky's child sex abuse trial. Dr. Corey Gonzalez, a local clinical psychologist, joining us this morning to tell us a little bit more about this disorder and how it can play a role in this trial. Good morning to you. Thanks Good morning, so much for coming in. Always a pleasure. Um, so first of all, what is histrionic disorder and what are the symptoms of it? Well, histrionic personality disorder is an ongoing chronic personality disorder is what it is. Mm -hmm. These are traits for people. And someone that's excessively emotional, emotionality, they're unregulated. They need a lot of attention, a lot of attention-seeking behavior. Mm -hmm. They're uncomfortable. They're not the attention center of attention, so to speak. They tend to be provocative in their nature. Their relationships with people are overly seductive or sexual. Uh, in nature, they're very impressionistic. They tend to have unstable relationships because they have an immaturity about them. Mm -hmm. They're theatrical, they're dramatic. You know, if you watch a, a, a housewife's reality show, you might see some of these personalities. They're interesting. They're, you know, they might be attractive and interesting to watch, but they can be very difficult at the same time. Nathan Lane um, in The Birdcage is probably another character you think of. Okay. Sometimes male bodybuilders can be more histrionic. So they're mm -hmm. over the top. They're very um, overt. And you certainly see them, and it follows them in all parts of their life. Is it something that continues through all of their life, too? Yeah, it's a, it's a trait, not a state. And okay. it follows them throughout their lives, uh, through their personal lives, their social lives, their professional lives. You see these traits. It's very hard for them to contain themselves. And we're talking about treating it. Is it something that needs to be treated and uh, overcome, or is it just something that's part of who they are? Well, it's, it's a part of who they are, and treatment can happen. It's long-term psychotherapy to help them understand how they got there. You know, how did they, why is uh, getting attention so important to them? Do they not get something developmentally? Uh, the defenses they develop to get attention, you know, over-sexualizing, the immature skills, they need to develop mature interpersonal skills, coping skills, so they can regulate themselves and regulate a healthy relationship. All right, and this is obviously from a distance, but from everything we've heard and learned about Jerry Sandusky throughout this whole case and everything, would you say that he fits the profile of that disorder? Without having seen him, as you said, and what I've seen, no. Um, what I've seen from him, he seems to be more in line with someone that's more calculated, more of a uh, sexual predator, uh, a sociopath, somebody that's under the radar, something that's, someone's well-contained, able to have a marriage, able to coach and keep that part of him well-contained, somebody that may use their position of power, he grooms kids to be in this position where they look to him like a father, then he exploits them sexually. A uh, histrionic personality doesn't, uh, is not associated with someone that commits sexual crimes or assaults on people. So from what I've seen on TV, he seems to be very different from that. He seems to be more covert than overt. Exactly, because he has made it through those uh, marriages and everything else, as you said, and was able to hold down a job for a long time. Right. Now, earlier, a defense expert said the disorder might explain why he wrote sort of an unusual love letter to one of the boys in his charity. Mm -hmm. um, not sure if that was one of his accusers or not, but they're saying that that kind of explains why he was overly emotional in these relationships with the boys that he helped. Yeah, I, I don't know how far that is going to go. I certainly don't think you can use histrionic personality disorder to excuse crimes. It doesn't make somebody incompetent. It doesn't make someone psychotic necessarily. It doesn't mean that they're not responsible for their behavior or in the, in the legal term, clinically insane. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I think that those are, are not excuses for his behavior. Uh, and I think it'll be very difficult. It's interesting they're using a personality disorder to try to excuse his uh, assault of sexual behavior. And other experts said, again, this personality disorders don't usually go far in trials. Yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine so in the literature suggests that as well. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in today. Again, the defense is expected to rest today, so we'll have to see what happens when it goes to jury. Be very interesting. Always a pleasure, Maddie. All right, Dr. Corey Gonzalez, thanks so much. Let's send it back to Kiyoshi. Maddie.